So today I have a new cloner from CoolPie. I'm not sure if that's how they pronounce their company. You can clone multiple different drives and you can even just access them from your PC. I like that it's really small and I can even fit it in my computer bag to go. This one is ran off of a DC cord. I'll show you a close up of this itself. I'll show you a couple different examples and I'll just show you how it works. To give you a quick close up, you'll see that one side will say source, the other side will say target. That's how you're gonna be doing your cloning. On both sides, you're gonna have a SATA. This is gonna work for your 2.5s and it's gonna work for your 2.5 SSDs. You also got your M.SATA and you got your M2 and your NVMe. And then on the other side, you just have all your targets. Here on the back side, there's a power button so you can turn it on and off. There is a USB-C which you can connect this to the computer and then now it's working as a docking station. And then you got your DC 12 volt input. They do give you a few tips on the back like you can only transfer and clone from the same to the same. Like you can't do an NVMe to a SATA. And the target disk needs to be greater or equal to the source disk. This came in handy a couple nights ago. I'm working on some mini PCs and getting them reset so I can donate them. I had one that had errors in the recovery so I just took the drive out of one mini PC and then cloned it to the other one and I was good to go. So in order to clone, you do not want to connect this to the computer. You want it to just be a standalone. And then you can choose the drives that you want to clone. Like here's a 120 gig one. I could put that in the source. So now we could take this one and we could plug it into the source. We could take a larger drive. I got my B Crucial BX2 terabyte here. And we can stick that right over here. And then you just press and hold the clone button and it will start cloning. Now I have stuff on there I don't want to do, so let me choose a different one here. All right, so go ahead and hit the power button that's on the side. You're going to see some blue lights. It's going to let you know the source and the target is both ready to go. And then press and hold. It'll start flashing. And now you know it's cloning. It'll take a few minutes depending on how large the source file is. And then once it's done, and as it's progressing, you'll see it get further all the way to the 100%, and then it's fully cloned and good to go. And that's how simple it is to clone a drive with this one. Now, like I mentioned, you could also connect it to your computer, and you can use this as a docking station. This is not the cord that came with it. It's just the one that I am personally using. And then what you could do is stick your source drive on here. All right, so we want to use it on a computer. We can hit the power button with a drive plugged into a source, and it plugged into the computer. And then we could easily bring that crucial drive up right here on the computer. We could also swap it out. And let's say we want to do that MSATA. Go ahead and power that up. And no issues with the NVMe connecting either. And with this docking station, we still get some pretty decent read and write speeds. But if you're looking for a really easy to use cloner and something that will also work as a docking station if you need it to for these drives, this has definitely come in handy for me a couple different times, especially with the mini computers. I like that it's small, it's portable, I can fit it into my bag, and I can use it offline for cloning. Anyway, that's going to be my quick demo for this one. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.